and praise your maker. Come, all you people. Come and praise your maker. Come, all you people. Come and praise your maker. Come now and worship the Lord. Come and praise your maker. Come, all you, come all you people. Come and praise your maker. Come, all you people. Come and praise your maker. Come, all you people. Come and praise your maker. Come, all you people. Come and praise, come and praise your maker. Come now and worship the Lord. Tina Martin, Wadi, Yahi, Yahi, Tina Martin, Wadi, Yahi, Yahi, Tina Martin, Tina Martin, Wadi, Yahi, Yahi, Tina Martin, Martin, Wadi, Yahi, Moses, we Good morning and welcome to worship at Church Online Kilmarnock on this Sunday the 18th of September 2022. A Sunday during which many will be marking the passing of Queen Elizabeth II with a moment of silent reflection. In our service today, I'll be sharing the story about a very unusual funeral I had recently and the even more unusual poem I discovered as a result. So on this day when our country marks a moment of history and the significant change that brings, together we worship the God who strengthens and keeps us all of our days. a short prayer. Please join me in prayer. O oh God our Father, on this autumn morning, we gather to sing your praise. We gather to learn your way and to share your love. And we come with your promise in our hearts that you will walk with us throughout all of our days and wherever life leads us. Father, in you we trust this day and all of our days. And hear us now as we pray together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. What colours God has made so full and free, the golden glow of harvest sheaves declare his love for me. He frames the winter skies, his silver stars I see. the sun in splendor rise, the God who cares for me. So sing my Father's praise, the living God is He, whose colors brighten all of Here's a reading from Isaiah chapter 40 and from verse 25. To whom can the Holy God be compared? Is there anyone else like him? Look up at the sky. Who created the stars you see? The one who leads them out like an army. He knows how many there are and calls each one by name. His power is so great, not one of them is ever missing. Israel, why then do you complain that the Lord doesn't know your troubles or care if you suffer injustice? Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God. He created all the world. He never grows tired or weary. No one understands his thoughts. He strengthens those who are weak and tired. Even those who are young grow weak. Young people can fall exhausted, but those who trust in the Lord for help will find their strength renewed. They will rise on wings like eagles. They will run and not get weary. They will walk and not grow weak. Amen. Purpose from afar, and with 
Gospel reading is taken from Mark's Gospel, at chapter 10, and reading from verse 35. The request of James and John. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus. Teacher, they said, there is something we want you to do for us. What is it? Jesus asked them. They answered, when you sit on your throne in your glorious kingdom, we want you to let us sit with you, one at your right and one at your left. Jesus said to them, you don't know what you are asking for. Can you drink the cup of suffering that I must drink? Can you be baptised in the way I must be baptised? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, You will indeed drink the cup I must drink and be baptised in the way I must be baptised. But I do not have the right to choose who will sit at my right and my left. It is God who will give these places to those for whom he has prepared them. When the other ten disciples heard about it, they became angry with James and John. So Jesus called them all together to him and said, You know that those who are considered rulers of the heathen have power over them, and the leaders have complete authority. This, however, is not the way it is among you. If one of you wants to be great, he must be the servant of the rest. And if one of you wants to be first, he must be the slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served. He came to serve and to give his life to redeem many people. Amen. Let us pray. Father, at this time, we pray for all affected by the loss of Queen Elizabeth II. But we pray in particular for her family as they cope with that loss very much in the public eye. Father, grant to them and to all those who are grieving at this time, your strength and your comfort. Bring healing to broken hearts and bring your peace, that peace which is beyond our understanding. Lord, heal and strengthen us for today, for tomorrow and for all the days that lie ahead. These prayers we offer in Jesus' name. Amen. Only good. 
message this morning. Did you know that St Marnox used to have a flagpole? It can be seen on a, an early engraving of the church dated from 1865 and that flagpole stood at the top of the tower and stood taller than the corner pinnacles. Well if we still had one today then that flag would be flying at half-mast as a mark of respect for the late Queen Elizabeth II. And if you had been in town on the Friday after Her Majesty's passing, then you would probably have heard our funeral bell toll. Tomorrow, at the end of the Queen's funeral service, we'll have the opportunity of observing a two-minute silence in recognition of a lady of great faith who lived her life serving her country. You know, there was a book published about six years ago to mark the Queen's 90th birthday. Its title says it all, the servant queen and the king she serves. I think it was the only book the queen ever wrote the foreword for. And it was about our queen and about her personal faith in God. And tomorrow, the sadness of her funeral will be underpinned by the strength of that faith. But tomorrow millions will watch or listen and share in a moment of history 
as Queen Elizabeth II is laid to rest. In contrast, I conducted a short funeral service recently in the old Rickerton Church Cemetery, where the only people present were the gravediggers and myself. It was a very unusual one because it was two coffins full of unidentified remains. These were remains unearthed when the cemetery wall had to be taken down and rebuilt. But not only did I not have any names, they weren't even sure of the number involved. It was unclear how these remains had been buried together against the old wall in the first place. But their best guess was that they had been unearthed when New Street was formed at the side of the kirk. Anyway, I conducted a short service using a service from the Book of Common Order from 100 years ago. At the end of the service, the sun was shining and I took a wander around that fascinating old graveyard. Many old gravestones are there, some pre-Reformation with images of men ploughing with oxen, one with a, a bodkin, shears and iron, and even some with Adam and Eve scenes on them. But the earliest date that can be made out is from 1641. But what caught my eye was a poem, a poem on the back of a substantial headstone for a George Paxton of Richardland House. From the sound of it, somebody was giving him a hard time. Listen to this. Farewell, vain world, I've had enough of thee, and now I care not what thou thinkst of me. Thy smiles I court not, nor thy frowns I fear. My days are done, my head lies quiet here. That is on the back of his gravestone. I don't know the background here. I don't know if it was written in jest or if he was serious. But you know, something like the words of Isaiah would, to my mind, be far more meaningful than that. Those who trust in the Lord for help will find their strength renewed. They will rise on wings like eagles. They will run and not get weary. They will walk and not grow weak. It's in the strength of that faith that we face tomorrow and indeed all of our days. Amen.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 